Good evening. Today we will be showcasing our marketing strategy for Biopack, a paperboard-based food packaging firm. Before I delve deeper, I would like to acknowledge the work of Dr. Nancy Lee. Nancy Lee has more than 30 years of professional marketing experience and special expertise in social marketing, marketing in the public sector, marketing research, and strategic marketing planning. She received her MBA from, uh, with a major in marketing from the University of Puget Sound and a Bachelor of Science edu uh, in Education from the University of Illinois. Nancy has held numerous corporate marketing positions, including Vice President and Director of Marketing for Reno Bank and Director of Marketing for Children's Hospital and Regional Medical Center in Seattle. She has been active in the American Marketing Association having served as a board member for more than 15 years and president of the state's largest chapter, and is founder and board member of the Pacific Northwest Social Marketing Association. Thank you again for your work. Good morning, guys. This is Ajitian V here to take you through our project on the significant and importance of uh, biodegradable food packaging. So the widespread usage of plastic has seriously had negative consequences for both the consumer health and the environment. Plastics are difficult to disintegrate due to their non-biodegradable nature and disposing them carelessly will only worsen the situation. In addition to this, plastics are also a source of toxins and causing more harm to marine life in the oceans when dumped upon them. So here our project deals with the basic background of preventing the use of plastic food packaging and this would be the primary background of our project. The pollution caused by pa plastic packaging would act as a social issue that we, which we will be addressing in our project. The facts that have led to this topic are the literature reports collected by the business line on the amount of plastic waste produced from food packaging on an annual and monthly basis across our country. So going further into this, let's go into the purpose of our project. This part basically describes the potential impact of our successful campaign. Our product will bring about a huge behavioral change in, auto, in all our indirect consumers. This behavioral change will be to reduce and lessen the use of plastic packaging and going for more biodegradable packaging as a whole. So now going into the focus of our project. The focus of our project is to introduce paperboard based food packaging into the market on a widespread basis across the subcontinent. And this product is chosen after evaluating it under the following criteria. Behavioral change potential. There is indeed a huge behavioral change that this product can bring about in the society. People can become an active part of plastic free India mission once they start going for paperboard based food packaging. And then market supply. Since this is of much need in the market and not much many vendors are available on a wholesale sale, we, we can actually use this to capitalize our product in the market. Then organizational match. We have observed from this topic that this business can potentially yield 200 to 280 percentage profits in about a year of investment and impact on the social issues. This product will have a huge impact on the amount of plastic waste produced annually from food packaging and the amount of food packaging that is getting disposed of on an annual basis across our country. This means that around 4 to 6 lakh tons of plastic waste can be avoided annually if our campaign is successful. Moreover, the amount of plastic food packaging produced will reduce on an amount of 30 to 40 percentage. Thank you. We have described the situation analysis based on two factors the micro environment and the macro environment. Talking about the micro environment, I would like to move to funding first. We have chosen to fund the project ourselves and not seek any external source of funding. For service delivery, we plan to use trucks and vans which will move our product from the local factories to the food industries. We also plan to use a decentralized type of management for its ease and efficient use in decision making. Over the course of our venture, we would also like to build alliances and partnerships with many food industries, restaurants, and catering services. Talking about the macro environment, we have described it in terms of the test framework. In the political terms, India as a country has taken many steps to stop the use of plastics. 
Our product being a biodegradable alternative will be easily accepted by the country. Economically, our product is priced in a good range in the Indian market and will be accepted by the economy. For social reasons, our product will help in regulating the waste generation and pollution regulation that is caused by normal plastic packaging. Our product can also be produced in a technologically optimized manner which can be helped by our team members. We have also performed a SWOT analysis for this product. The strengths listed are is that it's eco-friendly, it's biodegradable, it's reusable and it's recyclable. These are the features many people will look for in a product that is considered as a viable alternative to plastic packaging. Our product also has other advantages. It is able to provide a good moisture barrier and preserve the integrity of its contents. This is ideal for food packaging. A weakness that we have considered here is that it is comparatively higher in cost to plastic packaging. But with increase in demand, the cost can be reduced to a very competitive rate such that many people will prefer our product over plastic packaging. Talking about opportunities, our products are one of the alternatives that are considered to plastics and there is a growing demand for these substitutes. The threats that we face are of other alternatives to plastics like sugar bagasse packaging. But these packaging have other limitations that are overcome by our product. In this part of the plan, we determine the target audience. Since our product is biodegradable package, industries who require packages for delivery would be the most relevant. Uh, before we narrow it down to a more specific audience, we select a few segments and evaluate according to Anderson's nine criteria. Using this evaluation criteria, we compare two segments and see which sector would help us make more profit and uh, which sector requires more behavior change. In, this, in our case, we have taken two types of uh, manufacturing uh, sectors, which is tech and food manufacturing companies. Um, the first, in the first criteria, we determine the segment size. With our research, uh, we found that among uh, 6,80,000 companies, 60 are food, food manufacturing companies and 200 are tech manufacturing companies. In the second criteria, we observe how many companies are indulged in the problem of problem related behavior for both the sectors. We see that out of 60 food manufacturing companies, only about 16 have been using biodegradable food packages, uh, while others use uh, plastic. Uh, and most of the tech, food, uh, tech manufacturing companies use cardboard boxes and recycled papers for packaging. In the third criteria, we compare the consequences uh, of the problem-related behavior of both the sectors. Uh, the companies involved in plastic packaging uh, are harming the environment, releasing greenhouse gases, thus increases the problem of global warming. Uh, the cardboard boxes and paper are comparatively eco-friendly, uh, thus the tech manufacturing companies are less harmful. Uh, in the next criteria, which is called defenselessness, uh, we note the number of companies performing the desired behavior, and it is seen that there are few food manufacturing companies who have tie-ups with biodegradable packaging companies, while the tech manufacturing companies are already using biodegradable packages, like cardboard and paper. Fifth criteria, reachability. In India, there are seven states, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Gujarat, West Bengal, and Uttar Pradesh, where most food and tech manufacturing companies are located. All these companies have uh, access to social media channels and websites through which we can reach out to these companies. General responsiveness. In this criteria, we compare how our product will appeal to both the segments. Since our pack, since pack food is more uh, safe and compared to plastic contamination, it is healthier choice for people. Hence, uh, having the having experienced pandemic, this would induce behavior change in people, and uh, this will increase the demand. So, the food manufacturing companies will be motivated to use the same. This responsiveness uh, is relatively harder to achieve uh, with tech manufacturing companies, considering the delicacy required for their products. Thus, the use of thermocol cannot be avoided. Uh, incremental costs. Uh, these are the expenses that are in, that involve setting up the campaign and logistics, posters, banners, advertisement, etc. Uh, the campaign uh, will be set in areas which are near the food uh, near food and tech manufacturing companies since the number of food manufacturing companies are lesser than tech manufacturing companies the costs incurred to set up the campaign for food manufacturing companies is lower uh, 
um, the responsive responsiveness to marketing mix. When we evaluate both the sectors in this segment, in, in this criteria, we see it is common for both the segments. The product is eco-friendly, biodegradable package. Price, um, our product is uh, costlier compared to plastic or thermocol because of the um, manufacturing costs and initial equipment. Place, uh, these are the places near the manufacturing companies. Uh, promotion, social media websites, posters, television broadcasts are used as a uh, promotion strategy. Then uh, organizational capabilities, the technology behind our product uh, is well established and has significant improvement in terms of quality. This uh, portrays our technical capabilities. Additionally, we have contacts with tech and food manufacturing companies which contribute to our boost, boosting our networking capability coupled with effective planning uh, of activities for implementation of content. So I will be talking about the behavior objectives and goals of our project. I will be going through what our goal is and will explain how it is a smart group. After that, I will be discussing our campaign objectives according to the McKinsey Moore criteria. So now I will be talking about how the goal of our project is smart. Now starting with the first aspect of the smart goal, which is specific. We want the food packaging and delivery companies to use biodegradable packaging instead of plastic packaging, which will reduce the overall plastic waste. Now moving on to measurable. This measure will be done through surveys. The partners and manufacturers will be asked to fill a quiz sheet, which will collect data on the different types of packaging they use. Based on the data, we can measure the percentage of our share in the overall packaging used. This way, we will be able to track how much plastic packaging we have replaced in the market. Now, next is attainable. Polyethylene, terephthalate coated, paper both based, biodegradable packaging will be manufactured, which will be offered as an eco friendly option to food packaging and delivery companies. And the same will be promoted through campaigns. It will also be promoted under the Make in India initiative, which will help in gain support from the government of India for GT change. Next, internet chat Companies should use biodegradable waste packaging material over plastic because customers will prefer the former as it is safe and eco-friendly. So the business using our packaging will have more customers. Also, the government is planning to completely ban the use and manufacture of plastic. The businesses who will be using our product will be safe from any disruptions in the packaging industry. The last part of this month is the time wage aspect. We will have at least three companies using biodegradable food packaging material within six months. Now I will be explaining the campaign objectives of our project according to the McKinsey Move criteria. First one is the delivery objective. Here we want food packaging and delivery companies to use biodegradable food packaging material instead of plastic packaging. Next is the knowledge objective, where I will talk about the fact that food packaging and delivery companies should know to understand the importance of the desired behavior change, which are where percent of the total plastic waste is going, is causing air pollution, and then a mean 79 percent is turning less waste causing soil pollution. According to a research, about 4 lakh and 1 million people die every year due to the diseases caused by the unmanaged plastic waste. Around 260 different species of animals die due to ingesting plastics or related products, and around 4 lakh million mammals die due to the same. And the last objective is the belief of that is, food packaging and guilty companies should believe that plastic waste is very harmful for the environment and is one of the greatest causes of pollution, and thus plastic waste should be minimal. Also, the plastic packaging is harmful for the food. Even though replacing plastic packaging with paper packaging seems like the greenest idea, but then the problem lies when the paper packaging is unsustainably sourced. As a country, plastic manufacturing would be the fifth largest contributor of greenhouse gases in the world. 
Although paper industry gives off only 1% of the global carbon footprint, plastic is made through a more efficient process that saves 40% more energy. Challenges for transportation and storage show up because compared to plastic packaging, paper is more heavyweight, more bulky and unflexible. Therefore, transporting the same amount of paper packaging would cause more CO2 emissions by an estimated 50%. One ton of cardboard recycling requires 25% less energy as compared to making new paper. On the other hand, one ton of plastic recycling conserves 65 to 88% energy. It is faster than plastic. It causes methane emissions, which is one of the major greenhouse gases. Plastic, decomposed over a period of 400 to 1000 years, produces almost undetectable gas. We are a biodegradable food packaging company that markets paperboard-based food-grade packaging for all ready-to-eat and storable food item packaging industry. Being eco-friendly, reusable, and safer makes it a perfect choice to choose our product over plastic. We position our brand as we want food manufacturers to see biodegradable packing material as an eco-friendlier, healthier, and safer alternative for food packaging, and as more important and beneficial than a cheap quality plastic packaging. So moving on to the marketing mix. First, I'll talk about our product, which is essentially at its core a food packaging material. Uh, what we are actually trying to do uh, with the product is provide a paperboard based packaging material as an alternative to plastic packaging. Uh, which would be more durable, uh, food grade compliant, and also biodegradable as it's made of paper. And for an augmented approach to our product, uh, we are aiming at environmental, uh, environment safety and preservation, uh, focusing on government grants uh, and reusable and long lifetime for the packaging. Essentially, we're trying to make something that has less impact on the environment and helps preserve the food for longer periods of time. For the price, uh, yes, of course, from a monetary perspective, a product is a little bit more expensive. Uh, however, those are not the only costs involved. Uh, from a non-monetary uh, stance, we can see that you are uh, paying a bit extra for making it biodegradable, essentially as it takes longer to produce biodegradable packaging from virgin wood than it does to make plastics. And of course, the delivery could also take some more time because, because of like essentially where the forests are located, which produce like virgin wood. For place, you're mo uh, mo mostly focusing on two states, which is Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, because these two places are the only states which have the highest production of plastics and they are also states in which a majority of the food manufacturing plants exist. So essentially, by focusing on these two states, we are helping lessen delivery time as well as cost of production as all of the raw materials are sourced from, uh, from within these two states. And as for promotion, uh, the message that we are trying to convey is that it's a packaging that is eco-friendly and healthy for the consumers as well as the environment. As a lot of plastics have harmful chemicals in them, especially ones that are cheaply produced. And who are we going to convey this message from is that we'll have representatives from the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change to support and deliver the message which would make it more enticing for uh, the companies to adopt a product. And how we're gonna be promoting it, which is essentially a creative strategy, is since we are promising a certain set of benefits, which is essentially that the product contributes towards a healthy and clean environment, uh, keeps society safe from food contamination due to plastics, and to make sure that we deliver on these claims, uh, we'll have open communication channels uh, through promotion of goods through selective uh, media outlets such as like brochures and daily mail. Essentially, 
that these food manufacturers would already have like in the client list and we'll be focusing on that mainly because as a way to reduce our budget costs essentially the product will be better this way so an evaluation plan what for well the purpose of this evaluation is to ensure that the product is gaining market share as the final goal is to be the most used packaging material by the food manufacturers now this timely evaluation will provide insights and growth patterns for our own reference we can also keep track of the change in the behavior using this evaluation plan the audience for this evaluation plan will be us since we are a self funded business we want this survey to be about our own information regarding the product the behavior change and for self improvement now what will we measure well we can see five basic things that we can measure those are the inputs outputs outcomes the impact and the roi well for inputs the money that we put in the raw materials the teams the manufacturing team marketing team and the time spent for manufacturing for marketing these entire things are what when was the input for this question. now what are the outputs well the campaigns in the target locations the transportation and communication channels to approach the businesses to work with the businesses to deliver the product and the product itself these are the outputs the outcomes are the objectives that were specified in the mckinsey mode criteria now these objectives are the stepping stones to the reaching our goal now the impact is the amount of plastic waste that is reduced by the use of our product we want to measure and we want to see lesser pollution of air water and soil and the last thing that we have taken into this mineral criteria for evaluation plan is the roi return on investment now for every rupee that is spent on manufacturing and the raw material of the product how much profit the businesses are going to make by switching to our product well the customers will prefer our packaging as it is safer and eco friendlier so the businesses that are using our product will have more customers now it's no it's it's common knowledge that the government is planning on banning the use of plastic well the businesses are, you are using our pa- packaging will be safe from any disruptions in the plastic packaging industry caused by a sudden ban of plastic no now how is the evaluation plan going to be carried out well for this evaluation plan we have decided and chosen the methods of survey now we'll have a questionnaire that is to be filled by the partner food manufacturers regarding the different packagings they use and how much our share is it that we'll ask them specifics about the orders and the profits and any other some quantitative measures we will also add some questions regarding their experience with our product and changes or any improvements they want from us we'll also have a rating scale where we can get their customer satisfaction rating for our product now now the time is important when are we going to measure when is this evaluation plan coming into the action well we want to measure the rise in mark rise in market share of our product in the market well for that we'll at least have to start with the rise in the share of the packaging our, our businesses are using well we will measure the market share prior to the campaign during the campaign and post campaign this will give us an idea on to exactly how our campaign is affecting our share now the final question is well, how much is this entire evaluation plan going to cost well as we want the better insights from the businesses themselves that is why we went for this survey method now the survey method is not the cheapest but it's definitely not the most expensive uh, evaluation method out there so there will be some cost involved which will be for creating the questionnaire hiring the respective people who will be responsible for the survey then the cost included will be of the printing of the forms or something and for the and for the digital uh, surveys that we send via email we'll also have an analysis software that takes up all the responses while we feed in the data and then it it makes sense of the data and helps us to understand what we can do better in this part of the plan we will be discussing about our uh, <clears throat> about the budget that we have allocated for implementing the social marketing plan um we see that the manufacturing cost for one package is rupees 
the selling price of one package is set to be rupees eight uh, and for around 10,000 products that we uh, produce in a month that we manufacture in a month we would get an, a profit of ideally uh, 35,000 rupees per month the competitor's expenditure on advertisement is around 1 lakh to 10 lakhs uh, the costs incurred in promotion, digital advertisement, banner advertisement are set for uh, rupees 5 lakh 20,000 to 6 lakh, where 20,000 to 1 lakh is, uh, goes for promotion and digital advertisement and 5 lakhs for banner advertisement. Uh, since we have adopted door-to-door -door promotion strategy, uh, no costs are incurred uh, for due to place promotion. Uh, we have allocated a total of uh, 14 lakh 20 thousand to 15 lakh rupees per month as our total budget, excluding the travel and labor costs. Uh, in addition to that, we do not have any external sources of funding. We are using our own internal funds. Upon successful execution of social marketing plan, our future uh, sales target is expected to reach 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs. Uh, products per month. Thus, the business turnover is expected to reach a profit of 5.25 lakhs to 7 lakhs per month. So now we come to the final step in the marketing plan, that is the implementation. Now you would be thinking, wait, what? Another plan? And how is an implementation plan different from a marketing one? Though some would say it's the same, but let me tell you, it's different. Kotler and Armstrong describe marketing implementation as the process that turns marketing strategies and plans into marketing actions in order to accomplish strategic marketing objectives. They further emphasize that many managers think doing things right is just as important as doing the right things. Now coming on to the first key activity, we have manufacturing. Well, the people who would be leading this would definitely be the chemical and product engineers from our team. And we would implement it right from the start of a campaign so that we have around 10,000 paper packages with us as our unit test pilot. Moving on to the second key activity, which would be led by the marketing team is obviously the promotional activities. Well, promotional activities would continue throughout the campaign, but it would be stronger before our product makes an entry into the market. Next, we would be garnering support from the government in order to promote our product as Make in India under the GEM portal. For those who do not know, GEM or the Government E-Marketplace is a one-stop portal to facilitate online procurement of common use goods and services required by various government departments or organizations or PSU. Our company representatives would be approaching the government with this proposal once we get a positive response from our survey. Next important task would be advertising for our product as well as against our competition. And it would be one of the major expenditures from our side, which could go even up to 10 lakh of rupees. Finally, last but not the least, we would be conducting a survey which would again be performed by our marketing team on successful launch of the first batch of the products. Now, once we are done with the implementation, how do we sustain our desired behavior? As already discussed, we intend to sustain our campaign with continued promotional activities about the benefits of paper packaging, and we would connect with other food packaging manufacturers as well as supermarkets in the future.